In the Stoic philosophy, which has withstood the test of time, there lies a subtle but powerful concept, the art of acting as if you don't care. As Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher emperor, once said, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Rooted in the teachings of Stoicism, a school of thought that champions virtue, resilience and tranquility, this approach invites individuals to navigate the complexities of life with a demeanor of indifference. Drawing inspiration from Stoic principles and the timeless wisdom it impart, we embark on a journey to unravel nine insights on embracing Stoic indifference. Before we delve into this Stoic exploration, consider subscribing and liking this content if you find value in these insights. Your support fuels our mission to share wisdom that empowers and enriches the lives of our community. Rational response, not impulsive reaction. Embedded within the philosophy's core is a profound call for rational responses in the face of external events. It's a deliberate choice to refrain from impulsive reactions and instead approach challenges with thoughtful consideration. By acting as if you don't care about immediate reactions, individuals embody the stoic principle of rationality. Picture a scenario where external events provoke a spectrum of emotions and reactions. The philosophy of not caring doesn't advocate emotional detachment. Rather, it encourages a pause, a moment of intentional reflection before responding. This deliberate choice allows for a rational approach, free from the impulsive waves that may accompany immediate reactions. Consider a situation where you receive unexpected news or face a sudden change. The philosophy invites you to act as if you don't care about letting emotions run unchecked in that initial moment. Instead, you take a breath, step back, and respond with the clarity that comes from thoughtful consideration. This practice aligns with the stoic principle that emphasizes reason as the guiding force in navigating life's challenges. It's about recognizing that immediate reactions, often fueled by raw emotions, might not serve your long-term well-being or the situation at hand. By adopting a rational response, you engage with challenges more effectively, making decisions based on careful consideration rather than being swayed by the turbulence of the moment. In the tapestry of Stoicism, this philosophy becomes a thread that weaves reason into the fabric of your responses. It's a commitment to mindful engagement, allowing you to navigate the ebb and flow of life with a steady hand guided by rationality. By acting as if you don't care about immediate reactions, you elevate your responses, embodying the stoic wisdom that places reason at the forefront of the human experience. The transient nature of life. Immersing oneself in the practice of acting as if you don't care unveils a profound truth, the transient nature of life. It's an acknowledgement that experiences, possessions and relationships are ephemeral, fleeting like a passing breeze. Through this understanding of impermanence, individuals can find contentment in the present moment, unburdened by the heavy shackles of attachment. Imagine life as a series of fleeting moments, each one slipping through our fingers like grains of sand. This philosophy doesn't advocate indifference. Instead, it encourages a heightened appreciation for the beauty in impermanence, by acting as if you don't care about clutching onto these transient aspects of life. 
you liberate yourself to savor them fully while they last. Consider experiences, those joyful highs and challenging lows. Recognizing their transient nature doesn't diminish their significance but rather amplifies their preciousness. In the realm of possessions, acting as if you don't care means holding them with an open palm, appreciating their value without allowing them to define your sense of self. Relationships, too, become an exquisite dance when approached with this mindset. By understanding the transient nature of connections, you cultivate a profound sense of appreciation for the shared moments, unburdened by the fear of inevitable goodbyes. This philosophy invites you to cherish the people in your life while embracing the reality that the dance of relationships has its own rhythm sometimes slow and graceful, at other times fast and fleeting. In the tapestry of Stoic wisdom, this recognition of life's impermanence becomes a source of liberation. It's a conscious choice to live fully in each moment, appreciating the richness of experiences, possessions and relationships without allowing attachment to transform them into sources of anxiety or despair. By acting as if you don't care about clutching onto the transient, you unlock the door to a contentment that thrives in the embrace of life's fleeting beauty. Liberation from Excessive Desires In the realm of philosophical liberation, there exists a powerful tenet the rejection of the seductive call of excessive desires. This philosophy of not caring stretches its wings to resist the allure of pursuits like material wealth or societal validation. It's about embodying the idea that, by acting as if you don't care about these external markers, you liberate yourself from the relentless pursuit of possessions and approval from the world around you. Imagine a life unshackled from the insatiable hunger for more, whether it be accumulating possessions or constantly seeking validation from others. Picture the freedom that comes with realizing that true contentment resides not in the external trappings of success, but within the quiet chambers of your being. Let's take material wealth, for instance. Acting as if you don't care doesn't mean neglecting responsibility, but rather freeing yourself from the chains of consumerism and defining your worth solely by possessions. Similarly, in the pursuit of societal validation, adopting an attitude of not caring liberates you from the whims of public opinion, allowing you to cultivate a profound sense of self-contentment. This liberation isn't a dismissal of ambition or the pursuit of personal goals. Rather, it's a shift in perspective. By not being enslaved by excessive desires, you become the master of your contentment, finding fulfillment not in what you have or what others think of you, but in the simplicity of being true to yourself. In essence, it's a journey toward a richer, more authentic sense of happiness. Pre-mastering emotional detachment. In the heart of the philosophy of not caring lies the art of mastering emotional detachment. It's a profound recognition that emotions, while undeniably valid and inherently human, don't have to wield absolute power over one's responses or disrupt the delicate inner equilibrium. By adopting the stance of acting as if you don't care about the fleeting highs or lows, an individual embarks on the path of cultivating emotional resilience. Imagine a life where emotions are acknowledged and felt, yet not allowed to become dictators of your actions. It's not a suppression of feelings, but rather a liberation from being enslaved by the roller coaster of momentary emotional states. This mastery involves stepping back, observing the ebb and flow of emotions, and choosing deliberate responses rather than impulsive reactions. 
Consider the scenario of a momentary high, perhaps a fleeting success or joyous event. Instead of allowing euphoria to cloud judgment, emotional detachment allows for a calm acknowledgement, preventing overreactions or decisions fueled solely by the intoxication of the moment. On the flip side, when faced with lows or challenges, the philosophy of not caring encourages a perspective that tempers the impact of negative emotions, fostering resilience in the face of adversity. This isn't a callous disregard for the human experience. Rather, it's an intentional approach to navigating the emotional terrain with wisdom and balance. Mastering emotional detachment means recognizing that while emotions are an integral part of life, they need not be the puppet masters pulling the strings of our actions. In this way, the philosophy of not caring becomes a powerful tool for fostering inner strength and stability amidst life's inevitable emotional ebbs and flows. Prioritizing Inner Self-Sufficiency Embracing the philosophy of not caring serves as a catalyst for prioritizing inner self-sufficiency. It's a deliberate journey that beckons individuals to recognize the profound truth that genuine fulfillment originates from within, independent of external circumstances or dependencies. By nurturing inner strength, one gradually becomes less reliant on external validations, finding a profound sense of completeness from within. Imagine a life where your contentment is not tethered to external achievements or the opinions of others. Acting as if you don't care isn't a dismissal of external factors, but rather a conscious choice to anchor your sense of self and fulfillment internally. It's about recognizing that the true wellspring of happiness resides in your own thoughts, actions and values. Consider the pursuit of goals. Prioritizing inner self-sufficiency means that while external successes are acknowledged and appreciated, they don't define your worth or happiness. Whether you achieve that promotion, embark on a new endeavor, or face a setback, the core of your contentment remains anchored within you. This philosophy also extends to relationships. By cultivating inner strength, you're less inclined to seek constant validation or fulfillment from others. It enables you to engage in relationships, not as a means to fill a void, but as a beautiful complement to your already fulfilled self. In a world often driven by external validations, prioritizing inner self-sufficiency becomes a revolutionary act. It's an intentional choice to find completeness within oneself, allowing external circumstances to enhance rather than dictate your sense of well-being. As you navigate life's twists and turns, this prioritization becomes a steady compass, guiding you towards a resilient, self-assured and deeply fulfilled existence. Indifference to external praise or criticism. At the heart of this philosophy lies a cornerstone, the art of indifference to external praise or criticism. It's a deliberate choice to act as if you don't care about others' opinions, liberating yourself from the pendulum of societal judgments. This intentional indifference empowers individuals to navigate their path based on internal principles rather than being swayed by the unpredictable winds of external validations. Imagine a life where your actions and choices are guided not by the applause or disapproval of others, but by the compass of your own values. Indifference to external praise or criticism doesn't mean disregarding constructive feedback or genuine appreciation. Rather, it's about not letting these external factors dictate the course of your journey. Consider the scenario of receiving praise. While external recognition can be gratifying, 
Indifference to it means that your self-worth isn't contingent on external applause. You acknowledge the praise, but remain anchored in your intrinsic value. On the flip side, when faced with criticism, this philosophy allows for a measured response, an understanding that external disapproval doesn't redefine your worth or the validity of your choices. In a world where societal judgments often act as a compass for many, cultivating indifference to external praise or criticism becomes a revolutionary act. It's about carving your path based on authenticity and internal principles, rather than being tossed about by the unpredictable tides of public opinion. As you embrace this philosophy, you become the architect of your destiny, crafting a life guided by the unwavering principles within, rather than the ephemeral judgments without. Indifference, in this context, is not apathy, it's empowerment, a conscious choice to steer your ship with the confidence that your true north resides within, indifferent to the external winds of approval or disapproval. Equanimity in Relationships In the intricate web of interpersonal connections, embodying the philosophy of not caring becomes a manifestation of stoic equanimity. It's a deliberate release of attachment to specific outcomes in relationships, cultivating a healthier dynamic built on mutual understanding rather than being tossed about by emotional turbulence. Imagine a relational landscape where the foundation isn't constructed on expectations or the need for specific responses. Equanimity in relationships through the lens of acting as if you don't care, means embracing a serene acceptance of the uncertainties inherent in human connections. It doesn't signify indifference to the relationship itself, but rather an intentional detachment from the need for it to conform to preconceived notions. Consider a situation where you release the expectation that a friend will always respond in a certain way or that a partner will consistently meet specific emotional needs. Equanimity in this context means recognizing and accepting the fluidity of relationships, allowing them to evolve organically without the weight of rigid expectations. In the face of disagreements or misunderstandings, this philosophy becomes a steadying force. Instead of being emotionally entangled in specific outcomes, you approach challenges with a calm understanding, fostering open communication and mutual growth. It's about embracing the ebb and flow of relationships with a steady heart, acknowledging that, just like the tides, they are bound to change. Equanimity in relationships doesn't imply a lack of care or investment. Rather, it's a conscious choice to invest in understanding and supporting each other without being imprisoned by the need for relationships to conform to a predefined script. By embodying this philosophy, you navigate the often tumultuous waters of relationships with a steady hand, fostering a connection that thrives on acceptance, understanding, and the shared journey of growth. Mindful acceptance of the present. At the core of this philosophy lies the art of mindful acceptance, a transformative practice that involves acting as if you don't care about future uncertainties. This intentional approach empowers individuals to embrace the present moment with gratitude, extending an invitation to find solace in the now unburdened by the anxieties of what may come. Picture a life where the weight of an uncertain future is set aside, allowing you to fully immerse yourself in the richness of the present. Mindful acceptance doesn't negate the importance of planning or setting goals. Rather, it's about disentangling your sense of peace and contentment from the uncertainties that lie ahead. 
Consider the typical scenario of worrying about what the future holds, career paths, relationships, or unforeseen challenges. Acting as if you don't care about these uncertainties doesn't imply negligence. Instead, it means approaching the future with a mindful awareness that excessive worry won't alter its course. This philosophy invites you to focus on the beauty and opportunities inherent in the present, fostering a deeper connection with the richness of life as it unfolds. Mindful acceptance also extends to acknowledging and appreciating the journey you're on, even if the destination remains uncertain. It's a conscious choice to savor each step of the path, finding joy and fulfillment in the small moments that make up the mosaic of your life. In a world often characterized by the hustle and bustle of planning and preparing for the future, mindful acceptance becomes a sanctuary of tranquility. It's a practice that anchors you in the present, allowing you to witness the beauty of each passing moment without being overshadowed by the uncertainties of what lies ahead. By embracing this philosophy, you invite gratitude into your daily existence and nurture a profound sense of well-being in the tapestry of your present experiences. Resilience in Adversity In the philosophy's expansive embrace lies a powerful response to adversity, the cultivation of resilience. Acting as if you don't care about temporary setbacks becomes a source of inner strength, empowering individuals to confront life's challenges with composure. It's a stoic approach to the inevitable trials that life presents. Envision a life where setbacks are acknowledged, but not allowed to cast a long, oppressive shadow. Resilience in adversity doesn't imply a lack of concern or effort. Rather, it signifies an intentional choice to respond to setbacks with a stoic resolve, acknowledging their transient nature. Consider the scenario of facing unexpected challenges, perhaps a career setback, a personal loss, or a sudden change in circumstances. Acting as if you don't care doesn't mean disregarding the significance of these challenges, but rather approaching them with a resilience that acknowledges your capacity to navigate and overcome. This philosophy becomes a guiding force in turbulent times, where the usual response might be clouded by stress or despair. Instead of being overwhelmed, you channel your inner strength, confronting adversity with a calm determination. It's about recognizing that, like the weather, challenges are temporary, and your resilience is the steady ground that remains unaffected. In the Stoic tradition, resilience is not just a reaction. It's a proactive choice to face adversity with courage and fortitude. By embodying this philosophy, individuals become architects of their response to life's inevitable trials, fortifying themselves with a resilience that transcends momentary setbacks and propels them towards a more steadfast and composed existence. In the complex tapestry of human existence, Acting as if you don't care emerges not as a callous detachment, but as a strategic philosophy rooted in timeless wisdom. Whether drawn from Stoicism or other philosophical traditions, this approach empowers individuals to navigate life's uncertainties with grace, resilience, and a profound sense of inner peace. As you embrace the art of acting as if you don't care, Remember that it is a journey toward liberation, a journey that allows you to find tranquility within the ebb and flow of life's unpredictable currents.